Hi Taurus, welcome to your second half of August general reading. This is Mary with Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. Um, to all of you who are new, thank you for stopping by. Those returning, thank you, thank you, thank you. If you are new, please do check the description box below for any and all information that you need. There's a ton of stuff down there, links, uh, personal reading information, um, everything that you need to know, even decks I'm using is all below. So please do go check that out. Be greatly appreciated. Those returning, thank you, thank you. And just before we get started, quick shout out to all my new subscribers. Thank you so much. To those who have reached out for personal readings, thank you, thank you, thank you. And those who have blessed me with an energy exchange, such as in a tip or donation to the channel, is very, very much appreciated. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I could not do it without you guys. So all your support means so much to me. I couldn't do it without you. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so this is for Taurus, general second half of August. Let's see what's going on with Taurus. <clears throat> Hope everybody's doing well. Second half of August, I just cannot believe. One more month of summer, and then we're going to be going into fall, and then it'll be Christmas already. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, Taurus, 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 what's going on with you? This is a zodiac oracle, so we may get a sign element energy or a planet energy we'll see how that plays into your reading if you find this part does not resonate for you that's totally fine this is sort of just like a little extra bonus so uh, I would say watch the rest of the reading it may resonate for you and if you clicked on the title then uh, there's probably something in here for you so we'll see what we get for Taurus second half of August spirit please what kind of energy may be around Taurus I'm guessing that one already Let's see. Oh, the sun. This has been coming out a lot. We are in Leo season right now, so that would explain that. A lot of the first half of August readings I've done, the sun, this card came out or in the major arcana in almost every reading. So the sun is all about uh, being who you truly are. Um, it's your personal identity. It's living your truth, having that per, uh, passion, purpose, and drive, being authentic, um, being happy, joyous, and just being true to who you are. So let's see how that plays into your reading. When I was um, pre-shuffling the cards, I do pre-shuffle, cut, meditate before uh, I come on camera. And I did get the uh, message of coming to terms with something. So I don't know if that's a message for somebody, maybe coming to terms with whatever situation uh, is going on for you right now is going to bring in this total happiness and joy situation where you'll be able to really live your life the way you want to live it um, and being truly authentic to who you are and how you live your life so that could be a message for some people because you see sun here one three which is four and fours are all about stability so let's see let's see how that could just be separate for some people or just a message some people need to hear. Okay, Taurus. What is going on with Taurus? Second half of August. Spirit, please, can we have one card? See what is going on. This will be your main message, your main card for the second half of August. Spirit, please. We'll also do the bottom of the deck. And then clarify with tarot. Matt, 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 I'm not sure how you say that. Fairness. The situation will be handled in a fair and just manner. Okay, so and this definitely here reminds me of the justice card. So um, there may be balance brought into a situation, uh, some kind of um, fair and just decision here. Things equaling out, just in getting justice, uh, serving justice, something going in your favor or something being... Um, equally um, something you know that will be equal for all involved so something about fairness here so let's see if it's on the bottom of the deck home your household situation is improving either through a move or a healthy change in the occupants so so this you know coming to terms with something the situation the uh, message I got before I think uh, will bring in this level of fairness and justice to a situation that will bring about uh, living your life authentically and something to do with your home situation. 
Okay, so this is a general reading, but I always say if you can fit it into um, a love situation, then you're more than welcome to do that. But I will be reading this as a general reading. I do the love reading separate, so um, if you're new, you can go into the playlist. The links are below, and you can find past love readings for your sign. They are um, dated, but that doesn't mean anything. That's just when they were posted. I do consider all my readings timeless. All tarot readings should be considered timeless, whether it was recorded 10 years ago or yesterday. If the energy energies resonate for you, then it's meant to. Okay, so let's see what's going on in this situation. What's going... Wow, okay, well, that was quick. So, wow. <laughs> really? Wow. I, I cannot make this shit up. Here's justice that fell out with the King of Swords. Wow. So we have Libra here, and I had said here with the sun energy, look at that sun, your stability, your authenticity, um, living, doing, being exactly who you are and who you were meant to be here, getting the justice you deserve in some way, in some fashion, whatever that means for you. Double here with the justice. Wow. So you're in an energy right now, uh, King of Swords energy of air energy here. This, I feel it could be your energy. It could be somebody around you that's an air sign. I don't know, but I'm feeling this is your energy. It's like you're standing up for who you are. You're uh, cutting away bullshit no longer serving you. You're cutting away any, um, in any ways you were living your life that was not true to you. You know, um, telling it like it is. Very clear, concise communication here. And just being, you know, in that ear energy of just standing your ground and telling it like it is. And using that sword coming from a pure and true place here with the white horse is pure true in intentions and I feel like this is balancing you out <clears throat> and my throat starting to get <clears throat> like so yeah I feel like you're really really speaking your truths now and it's bringing so much clarity to you and it's bringing you so much balance from within Wow Wow so let's see <clears throat> what else going on for you Taurus so what other energy is around you so temperance and the Prince of Pentacles so we have Sag Sagittarius energy here and Earth which is your energy um, Virgo Taurus Capricorn so yeah again with the balance Wow you no know, balance and then temperance is all about tempering out your energies the yin the yang balancing healing having time and patience and um, energy so I feel like whatever truths you are speaking however you're standing up for yourself whatever you're doing here cutting away bullshit in your life that's no longer serving you uh, living a false way that's no longer serving you you're finally being who you truly are and two cards of being like absolutely balanced out healing energy um, very peaceful patient energy here needing to have patience with yourself as you go through this transition and it may be you know a very slow process here because you do have the Prince of Pentacles the Knight of Pentacles your energy but this is your stability with the four here on the Sun this is moving in a stable direction to your authentic happy self your true self home I feel like you know your home situation are just you know being home to who you truly are um, like your soul has finally come home to live out who you truly truly are authentically so maybe a slow process here you know you may be rebuilding you may be uh, transforming but this is energy here of taking your time having patience building growing uh, very slowly but very stable energy Wow so let's see what your actual situation is. So the Five of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Sun. Wow. <laughs> exactly here, it, it just clarified exactly what I just said. Water energy here with the Five of Cups. Your energy again with the Nine 
of Pentacles, uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, and the Sun energy here with Leo. Wow. And here we have double clarification of the Sun. So not only is Spirit now confirming the Sun, first they confirmed Libra here with Justice. <clears throat> so Five of Cups. So this is disappointment. You know, I feel like you really felt disappointed with yourself that you weren't able in the past to live life the way you truly wanted to live it, to be truly authentic to who you are, whatever that means for you. Um, if you were living um, your life according to how other people wanted you to live it, like uh, having a certain career or job that others wanted you to have, but you were just very unhappy and discontent and disappointed here, or it could be anything. It could be, you know, wanting to move to a different state or travel or live in a different country, but you felt held back like you couldn't do it. Whatever the situation is for you, you felt so disappointed, unhappy, sad, just discontent and just, you know, not happy at all. And now you're gaining your, this is the nine of pentacles. So this is being stable, independent, um, gain so you know becoming <clears throat> very strong stable and grounded and um abundant in all ways standing on your own two feet and being that very independent uh person and it's right in the middle of your spread and what does that bring in it's total happiness and joy with the sun total happiness joy contentment growth prosperity um enlightenment of finally gaining the clarity with the King of Swords here of doing what's best for you. Happy home and family. It's total abundance here with the sun. Best card in the deck. You got it twice. Wow. Taurus. Okay, so let's see. Let's see what your advice is in this situation. So we have the Five of Wands and we have the King of Wands. Okay, so your advice is here. Fire energy here. With the sun is fire is about that passion and that determination that courage that strength that uh, bravery is telling you here whatever strife conflict you encounter along the way as you transition um, <clears throat> and living out whatever you're doing here that's doing be what's doing best for you did I say that right doing what is best for you <laughs> um, may cause conflict here with others around you or maybe you could have had inner conflict for a very long time about finally just, you know, coming coming to terms and that's where that's coming in of who you truly are, what you need to do, doing what's best for you and just living in that authenticity. And okay, there may be conflict around you, people around you may not be happy with your changes or whatever you're doing as here with the conflict, but it's telling you to stay in your power, the King of Wands energy and that's that fire energy, Leo Sag Aries, of being, you know, stand your ground, stay in that determined, courageous, brave, strong-willed, determined person that you can overcome any conflict. Because you could kick up your heels here and just uh, magically overcome it, you know, <laughs> with the unicorn there. You have the flame within you to overcome any obstacles here, any conflict that comes your way and just stand your ground with all that passion, drive, and ambition as you're moving forward here. You can overcome any darkness that comes your way because you see the black horse here and with the um, king of Pen uh, swords there, he was on that white horse. So you're coming from a place of truth, clarity, purity. You may have to overcome darkness either within you or people around you who are conflicted with what you are doing so your advice is to you can overcome conflict there may be conflict but you can overcome it your advice is to stay strong passionate and determined and you just keep moving on with all that ambitious drive that you have so let's see what your outcome will be king of pentacles well there you go there's your energy there's the energy virgo taurus capricorn so there you are sitting in your throne being independent being um in control of your life, being sure, stable, and grounded, being prosperous and wealthy, and being uh, you know a hard worker, and just you keep fighting on and moving on, and you're very, very secure and stable. You're living your life authentically. 
um, and sitting in your power there with the King of Pentacles. It's nice energy. All right, so let's get more clarity here. So we have strength. Wow. And I was just saying, I wouldn't be surprised if we get the strength card. I was going to say it earlier, and I didn't. And here's the strength, as we had said. You could have a Leo around you, too, that um, maybe supports you the most. Because we have the sun twice, and now we have strength. This is all Leo energy, the king of wands, that fire energy, Leo Sag Aries. So maybe, you know, there's a strong presence maybe of Leo here. It could be a friend, a family member co-worker could be anybody but here here's your inner strength your confidence your endurance your uh, ability to hold back when needed to having that uh, willpower and having that um what's the word i'm looking for here you know willpower and determination wow the lover so um or it could be your uh person your significant other could be a leo or we have Gemini here that could be supporting you in this change too. Or just like I said, a very close friend, relative. Uh, the lovers usually represents, you know, like a soulmate um, union. Um, so maybe this has to do with going to your soulmate and uh, living out that purpose with your soulmate. Or it could just be, lovers is also about making decisions. Here we have Leo again with the lion. So here I think you could just be making those clear decisions with the lovers of loving yourself and being authentically true to who you really are or you could have a uh, significant other who could be Leo that really really is supporting you in your journey whatever that may be um, or you're going to a soulmate and maybe this is this big change that people aren't happy with and you're finally standing up and going for what you feel is yours so it could be different things here so and I know it sounds random, but it's a general reading, so there's different messages here. If you want more in depth, you would have to get a personal reading. Uh, I know people complain, oh, these readings are useless, they're not detailed enough. Well, I can't give details for, you know, 5,000 people. I mean, <laughs> you would need a personal reading for that. All right, so let's get back here. So, wow, Ace of Cups, so water energy here. So this could be about coming into union with the soulmate. Or this could be, you know, finally having that, like, awakening and having that big self-love and that big aha moment of living your life here. It's like a whole brand new beginning of living your life and being in a very compassionate, loving nature and feeling so happy and joyous. You're finally living life the way you want to live it. And it, it's like your life is just overflowing with love and abundance and joy and happiness in all ways. Get another one here four of cups so again i feel like with uh we have the five of cups here that you were very discontent in the past here unhappy blah um just was not happy at all in the situation you were in so again we have the fool here aquarius so again leaping in you know restarting your life at zero leaping right in taking a leap of faith a whole new beginning a whole new start just trusting everything will be fine and you're just moving on, jumping in, and leaving all past baggage behind, only taking with you what you need, having a whole brand new start, resetting at zero. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. The Hermit. So maybe, you know, this Virgo energy, maybe you were living a life of solidarity, you know, in solitude before, and was very unhappy and you know you were just so maybe you were even depressed sad lonely um just very unhappy and you really had to think about here what do i really need to do to improve my life to live out my life the way i want to live it really here doing that any inner journey work here to your uh you know self-purpose your authenticity The chariot and then finally deciding once you went in reflected and did your inner journey work now you're ready to set out on that journey with the chariot cancer energy here moving forward finally being balanced out we've had all that balancing energy right from the start with temperance justice um and now here's the yin and yang all balanced out feeling very balanced at peace 
just ready to move forward with all your inner strength, confidence, ambitious, and drive, and being very successful, determined just to get to where you want to go, and just doing it and being successful. And Nine of Cups, there you go. So there's your wish fulfillment. There's happiness, joy, water energy here. Happiness, joy, uh, wish fulfillment, dream, dreams coming true energy here. And now we have the world. So the world comes before the fool. It's the last of the major arcana. So here's the universe. You know, you've learned all your lessons. You went a complete circle, a cycle here. You learned all your lessons and now you're ready to start this new chapter in the fool energy. Whole new beginning, whole new chapter starting for you. Yep, I think it took a tower moment, Aries energy here for you to really realize when you went in in the hermit energy and had that big awakening of I just need to do what's best for me. And that also may cause disruption here in this conflict with people around you that may not be happy. It may cause stress, anxiety with those around you. You could have been you know, in the Virgo energy and also hermit energy of being very stressed out, anxious, nervous, scared, full of fear, um, you know, air energy here, of not knowing what to do, how do I move forward? Yep, so Seven of Swords. So feeling like, you know, <clears throat> it's that energy, you know, self-deceit, um, really wanting to cut away things, actions, People, places, and things no longer serving you, but you're probably not sure, weren't sure at a time how to do that. You know, you have the sword in your hand, but, you know, having the confusion of how do I do this in my life. And there's your ace of wands. So here's the brand new beginning again of having all that passion, drive, ambition, excitement, you know, um, adventurous energy. And just the flames ignited, the matchstick is lit, and I'm moving forward on my new journey. Wow, Taurus. So, I mean, this could be, this could be anything. So, I mean, however this resonates for you, you take it as it uh, pertains to you. If it's a new love that you're going to, that you feel is your soulmate, um, a career change, a new home, moving, traveling, moving overseas. I mean, it could be anything, anything. Okay, you could be moving on from a long-term relationship to finally getting that justice. So to your own happiness, it could be anything here. But I see things all working out, things being balanced. Um, Ace of Cups, then we have the Ace of Wands under here. So the Fool, new chapter starting, happiness and joy twice. Wow, being very balanced, living in truth. All right, so let's get one <clears throat> last message of guidance, advice for you. Taurus, what do we have? We got two. Okay. So we have fog, veiled, and then volcano. Volatility. So I feel like here, you know, you were in a fog, like here's the sun again. So being in that hermit mode, in that far veiled energy of feeling that ha unhappy, discontent, confused, not seeing things clearly, I don't know what to do, and then all of a sudden, boom, it exploded like this big epiphany. Um, I don't think anything was violent. This reminds me of the tower energy, which we had um, right here. So I do feel like that's that tower energy here. So again, you know, having this big like epiphany moment on clarity of how to come out of this fog this having your eyes covered and uh, how do i come out of this to live my life the way i want to live it all right so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck lightning power wow so we have <laughs> Volcano and lightning and power and this also reminds me of the king of swords energy here of just having that lightning uh, Strike you and again with the tower energy there. You see the lightning Coming into your power here feeling all your emotions You know and feelings what I need to do what I need to change to change my world and uh, Coming into your power here Yep. So coming into your power, 
the veil has been lifted and the spark has been ignited and now you're moving forward into your own stability and living your life the way you want to live it and not how others want you to live it, whatever that means for you. Good for you, Taurus. If this resonated for you, Taurus, please do like, share, subscribe, comment, hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do bi-weekly general and love, so please don't miss out on that. Um, sending you lots of luck in your situation here and sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always, always say with my channel is to always, always, is with the sun energy here, to always, always shine your light.